and welcome to a new Rust Quick Electric video after a long hiatus. I'm happy to be back and happy to say that I've relaunched the Discord as well as my own personal build server in which I record all my videos. I'm coming with you today with a new schematic for the Smart Alarm, and whereas it's not a very complicated schematic, I like to go back to my roots in which I make any schematic, whether as simple or as complicated as a Russian roulette device, that helps the average player make useful contraptions for their bases when they don't have the time to learn these more advanced schematics. So using the assistance of the new Rustician website, which has been out for a while, but previously I was using Lucid Charts, this new website makes everything much easier to do everything that you want to do in terms of seeing electrical flow as well as having the ability to mess with day and night cycles. So you can do it all without spending the resources in game or having to load up the game to do the most basic things. I'm utilizing an old concept, which is the continuous charging battery that then outputs during nighttime when there is no power with these solar panels. It utilizes two solar panels attached to a root combiner here. They're going to go into a branch, which allows us to go into the OR switch, as well as the secondary branch, which will prevent the pass through of power if they are currently inputting energy from the sun, which will allow charging during the day, and then we'll utilize the battery at nighttime. So as you can see right now, both solar panels have a power of 20 combined for 40. If we were to switch to night mode, as this app allows you to do, we'll go down to the settings, you'll see that the solar panels turn off and now the battery will be active along with the HBHF, which I have currently set to be continuously activated as if someone were in your base. Obviously, you'll need to set the permissions for the HPHF, which I'll show you here shortly, but then it will allow you to know when the smart alarm is going off on your phone. This schematic will be available in the comments per usual. Now let's get into the build. All right, we're going to start off this build with the two solar panels set up appropriately, going into a root combiner. We're going to have the output of the root combiner go into our base. We should have the majority of your components just to prevent raid damage. We're going to go ahead and bring this down as neatly as possible into our first branch. Let's see if we can get up here. There we go. Once this is done, we're now going to have our branch out. Come across here into our ore. Once again, try to keep it neat so that you can keep control of all your wires. We're going to configure this first branch to a branch off amount of 3 because that's all we'll need for this specific build. We're then going to have the remainder of the power out come up to our next branch. We're going to have the branch out of the second branch come into the block pass there because this is how we're going to differentiate between power coming through the solar panels and power not. We're going to have the output of the second branch go into our battery. So we're going to bring it all the way across here. Once again, try to keep it neat just for your base. If you start having more advanced electronic configurations, it's going to be quite a bit. You're going to see that this is going to slowly trickle power into the medium rechargeable battery. Obviously, you can use any battery, a small one, medium, or a large, but the rate at which it transfers in is going to be much slower on the medium and large, so I wouldn't go much higher than a medium for the specific one of the solar panels. We're going to have our power out of the battery come back along the same path like so. And we're going to have it go into the blocker. The blocker will then come power out as our second input into the OR switch, meaning that if either OR powers it, it will be effectively outputting power, depending on whether you have the sun powering your solar panels or if you're running off of the reserve battery. This second branch is going to need to be configured to the default too because strictly it's only going to be blocking the paths through, that's its only purpose. We will now have the power out of the OR switch head on into our HBHF sensor. Which we'll continue this across a little bit more. Come across in here. And now it's activated because I've not set the permissions to it currently. We're then going to power out directly into our smart alarm here, which you can see is triggering immediately. Now that needs to be paired, so first we're going to go here to where we want to exclude authorized. So because I have TC, it's no longer going to detect me. If I were to switch it to include authorized, it will now detect me. So ideally for your base, you're going to want it to exclude the authorized, 
and you want to make sure that it is not excluding others. So right now it is currently inclusive of other players that do not have TC access. With the smart alarm, you're going to edit the message. You're going to set whatever message you want. You're going to create a name. So that assuming you're playing on multiple servers, you can make this base with what server as such and whatever message you'd like it to say. Now with this, with the app, you're going to make sure that you're pairing your devices. So when you're using the Rust mobile app, you need to go into the companion app and you need to make sure that it logs you into your Steam and finds your specific server. You're going to have devices and then you can strictly add a new device. In order to do so, you're going to do this and you're going to configure by doing the pair option, which this one has already been paired, but you would do so by clicking and holding E and then selecting the pair option that would be here. You'll see it pop up in your app immediately and you will confirm. Once this is all set up, anytime someone enters your base that's not approved, we're going to include the authorize. You'll see that this alarm will go off and your phone will send you a message as I showed in the beginning of this video. The expansions of this app are limitless essentially. Rust and the devs are going to come forward with a whole bunch of updates hopefully that include more usability of these features. For now, this is already extremely overpowered. I'll be going into videos as far as the smart monitor for the resources goes because once they begin to add more to that, it's going to be incredible. But for now, that's all I have for you today. I welcome you all to join in my new Discord. I've relaunched it. It has all the server information as well as people posting the builds daily. I appreciate your time and I hope you all have a nice remainder of your weekend. Thanks.